This June, TPM helped to sponsor a special trip for me overseas to help at great cost. TPM has been partnered with Queen City Robotics Alliance for some time to create a robotics facility where students K-12 can learn about STEM education through rigorous hands-on robot building and competition. Queen City Robotics is comprised of several Charlotte area first teams. One of our young first robotics students took this inspiration from her robotics organization, 3506 Yeti, to create her own nonprofit called Prepare. The mission of the trip overseas was to help Sunny expand the reach of her nonprofit by looping in additional resources and spreading the program farther. Prepare has already reached thousands of students due to the continued efforts of her small team, and this summer I help with those efforts by bringing additional expertise and knowledge to the table from my experience doing first robotics for the last 17 years. What is Prepare? Prepare is an international 501c3 that focuses on providing STEM education to underfunded government schools in rural India. So far we've donated over $50,000 worth of materials including laptops, projectors, and robotics kits. We have over 5,000 students enrolled in our programs and we are established in over 20 schools in rural South India. So how did you come up with the idea for Prepare? So I um, have been on Yeti all four years of high school and I realized my sophomore year that the opportunities that I got from Yeti really taught me some technical abilities and developed my professional skills. And I really thought that these kids in India um, should be able to have a chance to learn the way I did. So I wanted to bring FIRST to them. And with the support of my team, we developed a plan on how to do that. So we started PREPARE, which is kind of just laying down the foundation to bring FIRST teams to India. Why is doing this in India so important? In India, the um, economic disparity always translates into an educational barrier for some of the students in um, underfunded government schools, so PREPARE really strives to help them overcome these barriers by um, providing them with quality STEM education. So both private school students and public school students study really hard and they get into the best college they can. Um, of course, it's, a, it's much harder for public school students because they don't have the same resources that private school students grew up with. But when they get into those colleges, um, government students always fall behind because they don't have any experience with technology or digital education at all. So um, despite all their efforts to get into the same college as the private school kids, they always fall behind. So that's why PREPARE is trying to introduce STEM education early on in their years to level the playing field so they actually have a fair shot of you know, placing um, in the top of their class because India provides um, way, it produces way more STEM graduates than there are STEM jobs in India. So only the top of the top get hired. And this is the government school students' way to get out of the poverty cycle. This is their way to give their family a better life. The first few weeks, Robbie and I um, taught a teacher training session, like a week-long teacher training sessions for all of the new hires. Um, at our schools, and Robbie then traveled to Vizag and st helped start an FTC team and two FLL teams over there. It's actually the first FTC team in all of South India that he helped start. He coached the teachers and the students, and he also attracted a whole lot of new potential sponsors, and we had edutech companies and software companies wanting to partner with us, so he was really helpful like that, and thank you so much to TPM for um, letting me take my coach to India for a month. So. Thank you guys.